So you're about to upgrade your Nutanix AOS and aren't sure which version to pick. And this video will help you make that determination. Greetings and welcome to Tech Topics. My name is John Weidenhammer and I'm a senior systems reliability engineer in Durham, North Carolina. In this video, we're going to be talking about long-term and short-term releases. Short-term releases are ones that are released quarterly, have three months of maintenance, and followed by three months of support. Long-term releases are released annually, have 15 months of maintenance, followed by six months of support thereafter. They contain maintenance updates as opposed to short-term releases, which are geared towards new features. Let's jump over to the Nutanix portal to take a look. Here, we're gonna go to Downloads, AOS, You'll see here on this page that there is a note stating that 555 is a long-term supported release. You'll see on the right, if you wanted to go to AOS release 581, there's a big red warning that says that this is a short-term release. Right above that is the release notes, which will list out new features, resolved issues, and if there's any notes or cautions about known issues. So let's jump over to Prism now. Here we'll go to Upgrade Software. And you'll see I've already downloaded the 581 release. If you review the release notes, you'll also see that 581 is a short-term release. If you're on a long-term release and would like to upgrade to a short-term release, you can do so, but you'll have to wait until the next long-term release in order to get back onto an LTS train. You'll also be able to upgrade within each release train. For example, you'll be able to upgrade from 555 to 556 without any issues. You'll also be able to go to 581 to 582. Please refer to the AOS end of life policy to make the best determination for you. You can find a link to that in the description below. When you go to upgrade, you'll see this message that you are upgrading from a long term to a short term release. Thank you for watching this Tech Topics video. I hope you found it helpful. Please comment below if there's a topic you'd like to see covered in a future Tech Topics video and subscribe below.